Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So earlier this year Skill sent me this combi drill out to uh, use in some of my project videos and I've been using it quite a lot ever since. So they didn't ask me to do this review video but I wanted to do it because number one I like doing review videos on power tools and number two I thought if anybody watching is considering buying a new combi drill they might want to check out this video. So in this video I'll be unboxing, testing and reviewing this cordless brushless combi drill. So here it is, the Skill Compact Brushless Combi Drill. It uses the PowerCore 20 Keep Cool Active Cell batteries. It has two gears. It's got impact function or hammer function. And it's got a, an interesting feature with the light. You can use it for 10 minutes on a high brightness for like a flashlight or you can use it for 10 seconds when you're you're drilling and it will go out again on a, a lower setting. I'll show that later on. And it shows you on the box that it comes with a five year warranty. That's a pretty good warranty for a power tool. Model 3075. And this package came with um, a charger, two batteries. So there's some more features shown on the back here. It tells you that it's got two gears, it's brushless, the motor. Two modes, including torch mode with 10 minute shut off function. Compact, lightweight, 60 newton meters of torque, which I think is pretty powerful for such a compact small drill. 13 mil chuck. It's got a 2.4 amp charger, one hour charger. So I'm gonna take it out of the cardboard sleeve and we'll take a look at the case. Okay, so here is the carry case. Nice, firm, rigid, decent quality, protective case. First impressions, it's good. It's got a rubberized handle, nice and solid. It's got these two levers either side here, which allows you to add the next case on top to keep them all bunched together if you're transporting them. So that's a nice feature. And it's got a little plastic lever here like a little clear window. I'm guessing you put a label in there to label the tool or put your name on there, something like that. It's got these metal clasps at the front. And there is the case inside. Plenty of space for the tool. So it came with the, um, the belt clip with a little bolt here and the manual. And then we've got two PowerCore 20 lithium keep cool batteries. Both two amp power. Here is the drill. As you can see, it's very compact for a, a combi drill with two uh, speed settings. Very small, you can see my hand here, sort of swamping the drill, it's tiny. It's definitely the smallest uh, combi drill I've used. And then uh, the fast charger. It's not fan cooled, but it is a fast charger. And of course you can also, I think you can also buy this as a bare unit as well. And there's these plastic mouldings inside the case, which you can take out, swap about into other cases, and they have the shape of the tool. So the belt clip can go on either side of the drill, and the thread in there for the bolt has metal, which is good, so it shouldn't tear through. It goes on easily like this, um, also on the other side, depending on your preference nice and easy to attach belt clip is on nice rigid generous belt clip so now let's take a closer look at this drill I'll just put the battery in starting off at the top you've got the two speed modes speed one Speed two. Speed 
Nice electric brake on there. Stops immediately. Uh, the chuck here, you've got metal at the end here, but the outer part is plastic, although it's quite grippy and I haven't had any problems using it. I found it to be to work just fine. The um, you, you can really clamp down on this chuck as well, as you can see, and get a nice tight grip on the, the bit that you're using, and the ends meet up nicely here. So you've got drill mode, drive mode and hammer mode and these can be turned nice and easily with very little resistance. Hammer mode, drill mode, drive mode and you've got 17 torque settings which is plenty of settings. It's got this over mould rubberised type grip all over it, really comfortable in the hand. Um, you've got the neutral position here to, that locks the trigger, you've got forward and reverse compact brushless very small very compact combi drill and um, don't be fooled by the size of this because it's actually very powerful I've been using it for a good few months now and I'd probably say it's the most powerful cordless drill I've used to date um, saying that I don't go for the high-end really expensive drills but um, it does pack a punch in my opinion for its size it's got the mode at the bottom here and um, work light mode it's just a little button so you can press this and you can have the um, the LED on high and that will stay on while you're working like a flashlight so if you're working in the dark you've got a permanent sort of big bright flashlight set up or you can dull that down press it again it will dull down and then it will go off after 10 seconds and work as a normal kind of work light on drill so that's really useful, nice big bright light. There you go, it's gone off. Um, and that is about it for the drill. There's a little section here at the back that you can put a spare bit in. Not, I can't say I've used that, but the feature's there if you want it. Battery life, excellent in my opinion on this drill. It lasts ages. Really nice, lightweight, compact drill to use. I'll just put a drill bit in here. just want to demonstrate how nice the, the chuck works. How you can really cinch it down. And the resistance from the motor as well. Loads of resistance there. You can clamp it down nice and tight. And then unclamp it. So that's really good in my opinion. So let's see how much this drill weighs. First with the 2 amp hour battery, 1.410 kilograms, so it's under 1.5 kilos. Without the battery, and the belt clips on here as well, 767 grams. So I think it's fair to say that that is a pretty lightweight combi drill. So starting off with a little test, I've got a 50mm screw here, I'm screwing these directly into softwood, I wouldn't recommend doing this but I just wanted to demonstrate the power of the drill. Going up to a 60mm decking screw and the, the setting on the drill is number one and it sinks these screws in no problem at all. Going up to a 75mm decking screw, quite a big screw and again no problem at all. Now go into a hundred and twenty mil screw, really big screw, and again put this screw in with no problem. Twenty mil spade bit now 
and it hit through the wood really quickly with no problem at all. So as I say, I've been using this in various projects over the last few months. Here I'm drilling and countersinking some holes in some pallet wood. It's nice and small and lightweight, so it's good for smaller projects. I used it to help me build a garden gate as well. Drilling pilot holes on mode 2 is really efficient and effective. I also use the hammer function, drilling into a wall in my house, and again, it had no problem with that either. Okay, so that is about it for this video. First impressions of this drill. I really like this drill. It's comfortable in the hand. It's lightweight, it's compact as you can see. It's got plenty of power, 60 Newton meters of torque, which is plenty of power for general DIY stuff. Um, the chuck works great on it. The, uh, the mode for the lights is a nice added feature. Um, it's not extremely useful, but it's there if you want it. The belt clip works well. And uh, all in all, I think it's a decent drill. So if you are considering buying a drill, um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.